What's up guys, this is Will of Will H Tech Review back with another video and today I want to talk about messages for web and how I use messages for web on my iPad Pro uh, 12.9, use that in conjunction with my Samsung Galaxy Note 9. Yep, I'm still rocking the Note 9, it's still an awesome device. Of course, when I'm using my, my iPhone and I'm using my, my, my iPad Pro, I have no difficulties uh, text messaging back and forth or sending messages because I use iMessage. But when I swap over to uh, my SIM card into my Note 9, then I use what's called Messages for Web. And that's how I send and receive messages without having to pick up my phone if I'm using my iPad uh, in conjunction with my, my uh, Mi Band 4. If I get a message in, I look, check my, my band, and not have to pick up my phone to answer. I just go right into the messages for web, and that's how we're doing it. So first thing you need to have is the messaging app on your phone, and you get this in the Play Store, and this is it here. Uh, messages, Google LLC. Uh, you download that, and then what you need to do is go on your browser here, and let me get back out of this because I want to show you exactly. Uh, you're going to search for messages for web. And this is it up here. And it's going to bring you to this page that I already had up here. You're going to see a barcode, uh, text from your computer with messages on for web. Uh, you can send messages. Uh, you can also learn more about this. You hit this. So if you go in there, you'll see it's telling you uh, you can use your computer to chat with your friends through messages for web, which shows what's on your messages, 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 <laughs> mobile app. Messages for web sends SMS messages using a connection from your computer to your phone. So carrier fees will apply just like on the mobile app. So like I said about that QR code, uh, this is Wi-Fi, a data connection. Must be Android 5.0 or higher. Now, on your computer, you need either one of these browsers here. You need the Chrome, the Foxfire, Safari, Microsoft Edge. Well, now I work with Internet Explorer. So you can go over and you can look at uh, all of this stuff and read it before you decide if you want to uh, install this or not or use this. Uh, so what you do with your cell phone uh what i like to do is go ahead and take this on so it'll remember my phone each time so you go into your messages you go up to your three dots here and you'll see messages for web right here so now it wants you to scan to scan that qr that qr code there so now i'm in just as simple as that and now I can start messaging any anyone on this list right here. So I've been doing a, a little test uh, for with myself here. As you can see, you can send pictures. Uh, that's a picture of me. You can open this picture up. You can view it like so. Uh, that's a picture of me, California, Santa Monica Pier. And let's go back in here. Uh, so. With the messages, uh, you can set this to uh, dark. It has a dark. I have it on dark, so I can go back. And I'm going to leave it light for now, but you do have a dark theme. And in your settings here, you got dark theme. Remember this computer. Uh, data, data mess, use messages. Display when phone is using mobile data. Data. Automatic emoji cons, the emojis. Enter sends messages so your shift and enter key will uh, send you messages uh, get alerts and so on and so forth so you can go in and read all of this if you decide to uh, download this to your, your and use this uh, it's not a download if you decide to sign in and use it so uh, I'm going to go ahead and send myself a test message here so Let's go here, and I'm just gonna type something. And we'll see it come up over here. So I just sent it. As you can see, it popped up right away. 
The double, it does that twice because I'm sending it to myself, I guess. So uh, let me show you guys how I use this when I'm using my iPad. Okay, guys, so normally how I'll have mine set up is I know I'm going to be binge watching some of my favorites on YouTube. So I'll go to one of my favorites here, Will H. Tech Review, and I'll queue up one of his, <laughs> one of his videos. And so what I'll do, I can have messages for web right over here and I can respond back and forth to whoever's texting me and while I'm watching this video I can slide it out of the way and you know choose another video somebody text me back again then I can slide it right back in like that so another way I do this if uh say I'm watching uh say if I'm on uh Twitter I'm on Twitter and I want to use messages for web. I just bring this over. I'll split strain it like so. And you can resize this so I can I can check out Twitter and I can go ahead and uh, message whoever I want to message there. And I can make it bigger or smaller, whatever you want to do. And then uh, I can jump out of it when I need when I don't when I don't need it anymore. So different scenarios of how I use the messages app for uh, communication when I'm using my Samsung Galaxy Note 9 along with my Apple iPad Pro. Stay tuned, stay tuned for a follow-up video on this uh, keyboard that I'm using here with the trackpad. So, all right, guys, Will H, catch you guys in the next video. I'm out.